Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And today I'm partnering with Name Hero Web Hosting to bring you this step-by-step -step tutorial where I'll be walking you through six easy ways to troubleshoot and fix the timed out error message. And this error message on your Chrome browser can be annoying, especially when you need to quickly access a website. And this error typically means that the web page you're trying to load is taking too long to respond and is likely due to a poor internet connection. But no worries, in this video we'll explore six easy ways to fix this error. And real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. It helps me bring you more resources and it keeps you up to date with all the WordPress and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. Also, as we're going through this video, I highly recommend checking out Name Hero's blog post on the topic. And I've linked to it in the video description below, but this is a great resource to reference as you're watching this tutorial. All right, with that being said, let's get started. So before we dive into solutions, it's important to know some reasons why this error can appear on your browser. And some common reasons include poor internet connectivity. A weak or poor internet connection is typically the most common cause of this error message. Your internet speed might be slow or your router might be unstable as well. In such cases, your browser cannot load websites correctly and this results in the timed out error message displaying. Next, this error could appear because of a problem with your firewall or antivirus software. Firewalls and antivirus programs sometimes block browsers from accessing certain websites if they aren't sure of the safety of a website, and this leads to the connection timed out error displaying. Finally, if there's an issue with your DNS configuration or corrupted data in the browser cache, the error message could appear as well within your browser. All right, so now that you have an understanding of the causes behind this error, Let's dive into some solutions for fixing it. First, it's recommended that you update your Google Chrome browser. So an outdated browser version of Chrome can cause this error to show up. So you'll wanna make sure you have the latest version of Chrome running. And to check the version of your browser and update it within your Chrome browser, click the three dot icon in the upper right corner. Then from the drop down menu, hover your mouse over help and click about Google Chrome. From here, you'll be able to see if your version of Chrome is up to date. Mine is, but if yours isn't, you'd be able to update and relaunch the browser right here. Additionally, Chrome automatically checks for updates and will ask you to update when they're available. As of January 2024, Chrome users will be notified of a new browser update in the right corner of the browser. It'll look something like this. Then you'd simply click on it to update and relaunch the browser. Okay, now that your Chrome browser is up to date, try reaccessing the website to check and see if the error persists. If you still get the error message, let's move on to the next solution, which is to temporarily disable firewall and antivirus software. So for the first example, I'm gonna go over how to address this when using a PC. This is my laptop that's running Windows 11 Pro, and I use this for some music production and to tinker on from time to time, so I apologize about the unorganized files on my home screen. But either way, firewalls and security software can sometimes block access to certain websites. So here's how to check and adjust the settings in Windows. First on your keyboard, press the Windows key plus the letter R to open the Run dialog box. Then type Control Panel and press Enter or click the OK button. This will open the Control Panel. Then from here, click on System and Security. Next, select Windows Defender Firewall. And on the left side of the Windows Defender Firewall window, click on Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Then by default, the firewall most likely will be turned on, but for the sake of testing, you could turn them off by selecting these two options. Then click the OK button, and once you do that, try accessing the web page to see if you still get the error. However, a safer way is to leave the firewall on and allow Chrome to bypass the firewall. So if you turn the firewall off, be sure to come back here and turn it back on by reselecting these two options, then head back to the Windows Defender Firewall window by clicking this arrow. Then from here, click on where it says Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. 
and scroll down on that list and find the desired web browser like Google Chrome. And again, make sure it's listed and that it has both the private and public check boxes checked. If they're not checked, go ahead and check those boxes. If the browser isn't listed, click on the change settings button and then allow another app to add the browser. Then if you made any changes, don't forget to click the OK button and then exit the Windows Defender firewall settings. Next, if you're running antivirus software, here are some recommended steps to troubleshoot. My current antivirus software didn't let me add an exception for Google, only Chrome extensions. So that's why I'm just listing out the steps here. But I recommend checking out Name Hero's blog post on this one so you can go through the recommended steps. Okay, moving on. Next, let's go over how to adjust the firewall settings on a Mac. So I'm switching to my Mac desktop. And then from your desktop, within your dock, access the system settings. Then within the sidebar menu, select Network. And if you look towards the right, you'll see a firewall option. Mine is currently inactive. So the firewall is not causing the connection timed out error in this case. However, if you click on it and you turn it on, so let me do that really quick, you'll wanna click the options button. And from here within the applications section, click that little plus icon and find the Google Chrome browser app and add it to the list. And then once added, click the OK button. This will tell the firewall to allow all incoming connections from Chrome, if you have the firewall enabled. All right, so if the connection timed out error was caused due to a corrupted antivirus software or firewall, following those steps should resolve the issue. If not, let's try the next recommended tip, which is to clear your browser cache and cookies. Sometimes browser cache and cookies store old data that can cause connectivity issues. So here's how you can clear them on your Google Chrome browser. In the upper right corner of your browser, look for this three dot icon and click on it. This will open a drop down menu and from here select clear browser data. Next, you'll get a pop up window where you'll wanna make sure that you check the boxes next to cached images and files and cookies and other site data. These options ensure that both the browser cache and cookies are cleared. Then above that, you'll see a drop down menu labeled time range. Click on that drop down menu and select the desired time range for which you want to clear the cache and cookies. If you want to clear all data, choose all time. But for this example, I'm selecting the last 24 hours. Then once you've chosen the desired options, click on the clear data button located at the bottom of the window. And then after you've cleared the browsing history and cache files, reload the website with the error message and see if the website loads correctly. If the error message disappears after you clear your browsing data, it means your browser cache was responsible for this error message to show up. However, if you're still seeing it, let's move on and try the next tip, which is to flush the DNS cache. So another reason why the connection timed out error can occur is due to DNS, which stands for Domain Name System, could be because DNS issues, and this can typically be resolved by flushing the DNS cache. So let's do that first on my PC. So from here, go ahead and click the Windows button plus the letter R to open the Run dialog box, and then type the letters CMD and press Enter or click the OK button. This will open the command prompt, where in that first command, type the following command, IP config forward slash flush DNS. This command instructs your system to clear the DNS cache. And when done, you'll get this notification that the DNS resolver cache was flushed. Then restart your browser and check if the timed out error still shows up on the screen. Next, let's flush the DNS cache on a Mac. Okay, so from your Mac desktop, press command plus the space bar to access spotlight search and then type the word terminal in the search field and then hit enter on your keyboard to open the terminal. Then the command we're going to enter for this example is somewhat more complicated, so I recommend heading over to Name Hero's blog post. Again, I've linked to it in the video description below and find the Mac users section under the flush DNS section 
and then within the second line of that bulleted list, highlight and copy the command like so. And I'm on a Mac, so I'm pressing Command C on my keyboard to copy it. Then back at the terminal, paste the command, and I'm pressing Command P on my keyboard to paste it, and then hit Enter on your keyboard, and then it will ask you for your password. Just enter your Mac password and hit Enter again, and that will flush the DNS cache. Then restart your browser and check if the timed out error still shows up on the screen. If that doesn't solve the issue, try restarting and rebooting your router. Sometimes restarting your router can resolve connectivity issues, and most router manufacturers provide instructions on how to reboot their router. It typically involves unplugging and shutting off the router for 30 seconds and then restarting the device. And due to the fact that I don't know what type of router you have, I recommend reaching out to your internet service provider or doing a quick Google search of your router's manufacturer and see if they can provide specific instructions on how to proceed. But if you swing by Name Hero's blog post, they have some generic steps listed out under the restart reboot your router section to help get you started. Now if the error message still persists, let's try the final tip and that's to connect to a different network. So finally, if none of these tips have helped resolve the issue, there could be a network issue. So you may wanna try accessing and connecting to a different network altogether. This could be a mobile hotspot, public Wi-Fi, or even a friend or family member's network. All right, so those are the six tips on how to fix the timed out error message in the Chrome browser. Hopefully one of them solved your problem, but as always, if you're having trouble with these steps or you're still getting the error, feel free to leave a comment under the video or within Name Hero's blog post, and we'd be happy to help you out. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're thinking about starting a blog, you gotta check out my step-by-step -step tutorials. They'll show you everything you need to know in order to build, grow, and monetize a professional WordPress blog. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.